That guy, I forget his name. Gary. Gary. He has a scar on his face? Yep. Never noticed. What's it from? No backstory? Nope. Oh. That's a Rockstar game for you. <clears throat> Older Rockstar game. Now everyone has fucking lore. Yeah. And then they fuck it up in the next game. You agree? Loss of the Damned. Yep. Nothing pisses me off more than Loss of the Damned. I never played it, but the way you made it seem sounded really cool. It is really good. I mean, it was like basically like Sons of Anarchy, but granted, I've actually never watched that show. I haven't really either. But I'm just like biker gang shit. Oh. But like, it was probably one of like the more serious GTAs too. Like, you had a really good story, and then fucking he just gets killed because they have to give fucking Trevor something. Yeah, give him an entrance. And what's du- it'd be different if it was someone who had zero character development, but like. It basically made everything they did in Lost the Damn just not even matter because he just dies. They should have done uh, Tommy Wusso. Even though he'd been like 70. Not Tommy what Wusso, happened? Tommy Vincetti. Okay. Yeah, Tommy Vincetti. Who's well, Wusso? No, well, wasn't Vice City 80s? Maybe. Because it was 80s. Yeah, I think maybe 80s. 2010s. He'd only been like, I mean, like, he'd still be old, maybe like 50. I mean, and he was... And he went through everything that happened in Vice City. He wasn't a weak old guy. Yeah, and even if he was, he was still, like, um... A, for the lack of better words, a Don. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Of, uh... <laughs> of, uh... Vice City. Welcome back, everybody, I guess. Forgot to say that. Cool. Welcome back and be failing arts. I fucking suck. You can restart it, dog. We're playing the bully. You can just turn it off right now. No one would know. It's fine. I don't care. But then you won't get... What do you get from art? Art is, um... When you kiss girls, you'll get more help. Then you won't be able to get more stuff. It's... Okay. Yeah, it's uh, 1984 is when Vice City is taking place. Yeah, so you only be like 50 something. Uh, we'll do some side quests, I guess. I'm not doing that. Uh, do, do, do. Teacher stuff. Woo! He was 35. In uh, Vice City. In Vice City. Never mind. Yeah, he's probably 70. I thought he was in his 20s. Um, he did serve that 15 year life sentence so maybe at the very very beginning he would have been in his 20s I kind of forget that there was that part in the middle the other time skip yeah I always thought went from right to that to Rosenberg I mean I guess he could have they could have killed um CJ but that would have made me turn the system off immediately <laughs> you've been even more mad I would have vehemently hated five. Like, like it would have meant nothing to me, and I would hate any time I got brought up. See, like, CJ. You know what they could have done that was a cop out that I feel would have been way better though. Mm-hmm. Just had like, you know how they have the branching systems, like or at least how old GTA did. They had like the. You fought the, uh, what was it? The Cubans, I think, in Vice City, and the, what were the other two gangs? I think there was like three different gangs. I don't remember when this world it was like San Andreas. Well, what was San Andreas? There was, um... Ballas, Vegas, and... Oh, there's one more. Oh, no, it was Ballas, Vegas, and Grove Street. Okay, so two. But they all have the the branching mission gang things that you're supposed to do to help take out and take him out. They should have they could have introduced him like they build up a boss for one of them and that's how he's introduced. He's the one that actually takes out that boss. 
would have been a cop out, but I feel like it would have been better than uh, just killing out the main character from a different game. Oh, I thought she was about to have relations with uh, the homeless man. No, she was just giving the bottles that you took for uh, Galloway to her. Her and uh, Galloway are fucking. Or at least they eventually do. After she graduates? What? Where was she a teacher? Miss Phillips is the art teacher. Oh, huh. Like Mr. Raber and Mrs. Art Teacher. Yeah. Art. Oh! Whoa. It is just like that. He was an English teacher too. I think her name might have been Miss Phillips also. Whoa. Did they watch Bully and was like, let's do that? Yeah, and they're inspired. What, what, what's that stupid um, art imitates life? Yeah. Where life imitates art? Life imitates art. And you can have your pick of my wenches. Great. Does he actually has bitches? No. It's not a playing game. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about, Robert. Shut up. Piss pants. Maybe her, even. I think that's very unrealistic of Rockstar in this game, though. There's not enough swearing and stuff. Yeah. Because that guy's called really. pee stain, not piss stain, or... Yeah. That's just stupid. There's not a lot of cuss words in this. Like, damn. I think just coming off the heels of, like... GTA. GTA's and Manhunt, they're like, let's make some a little less extreme. I guess, but I try to keep it realistic too, though. Yeah. I mean, Rockstar almost got closed down like fucking nine different times, so I'm just tired of it. <laughs> Rockstar, though, this also had a controversy because of bullying. This game was banned. Yep, because everyone immediately, especially like the SRB and shit, immediately thought, took this the wrong way and thought you were being the bully. Was it. It's either, it's one of those, it's either Australia or one of the other Euro countries. I think it was Australia and Germany, if I remember. Where it's, uh, they had to literally change the name from this to, uh, I want to say Casey Kasem, but that's, uh, Scooby-Doo. I'm Casey Kasem. Uh, I forget what it is called, but, uh. It's like the other name for it. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, like it's manhunt. Manhunt, oh my god. I wish people were more people who were like alive or just aware when oh, that shit on. got released. It was a fucking, like, a, it, it was a national case of like, what the fuck even are video games? Should they even exist because of manhunt? Do you remember? Canis, Canum edit? Canis, Canum. Yeah, which means dog eat dog in Latin. That's almost a harder name. Yeah, Kane is Kane. Because they couldn't uh, name it Bully. I almost like that more. That's kind of I sick. do too. Especially, like, that fits the themes of the game more. Yeah. So, <laughs> go on with what you were going to say, but I, I'll go back to... Okay. We'll just go back to mine after. Um, speaking of that, that's like the tagline, I believe, for their school... That's why, yeah, that's why I kind of like, is it like, you can play E Plurus Unum if it was Canis Canum, it'd be kind of sick. What was ours? E, e Plurus Unum. What is that? Uh. Please help us, Jimmy. Something really uninteresting, because remember when I found out, I was really annoyed. It's something like really basic. I can't remember what it is, though. But essentially, it's like, it's just like a word vomit thing that means almost nothing. Yeah, do you remember any of the Manhunt stuff that was happening? I don't know if you, like, watched, not only watched the news, but, like, the news. Oh, yeah. Stuff. yeah I remember. Yeah. And then I remember there was that kid who was, like, jerking off to it. Mm hmm There was another kid who, like, uh, made a bunch of art in school that was, like, looked like the shit from Manhunt, but had people's names and shit. And there was the two kids who killed people, and they were trying to blame Manhunt. Yeah. Oh, shit. I'm wrong. There was a lot of shit from Manhunt. That's what I mean, it's just like, well, people missed out. That shit was insane. There was fucking whole ass, like, press conferences, like, in Congress and stuff about it. Yeah, uh, Hillary Clinton was, like, super hard. Yeah, she was one of the She was trying to crack people. down on that shit. Yeah, she's one of the reasons the ESRB exists. I do recall that. 
I mean, I recall finding out about it later when it was happening. I was just a stupid kid. I didn't care. I was like, just let me play my game. I was say, I didn't, I didn't play until years after that happened. I started being everywhere. My mom was like, you're going too far. And my dad was like, we used to have fucking Pac-Man. He's like, what is this shit? <laughs> <laughs> like, he thought it was ridiculous in terms of, like, kids probably shouldn't. Like, little kids probably should not have been playing that is how he felt. Um, yeah, my, uh, my mom actually played video games with us. That's kind of cool. But we played, uh, like, Donkey Kong Country and... But still, regardless. Yeah, that's kind of shit my dad would play with. I mean, it was like Jet Moto and Cool Borders. They went on Earth, remember those games? I miss that Rockstar, though. When they were Edge? Yeah, I miss Edgy Rockstar. I'm not even trying to say that as, like, a, a bad thing. I liked all, like, the... Uh, like, growing up during... Oh. Uh, Vice City and San Andreas and um, like watching those we were just talking about how shitty quality the internet and shit was back then you'd yeah. like get super pixelated um, stuff and they'd have all the like the different hidden lore stuff you could find yeah. like oh you can find uh, Jason Voorhees if you go to this place at this time and then there's like some shitty JPEG crop yeah, that was and you're like oh, no! Or San Andreas' big one I remember was Bigfoot was in the country park yeah. was in the woods. And the self-driving cars, which were real. Those were real. The self-driving cars you could definitely see. And you could find the pigsy action figures. The, yeah. I do love how they added stuff like that too and all the different things. Yeah, like all their games have like stuff in like that. Like Who do you think would win in a fight? Hmm. Um... Uh, Cash, or the guy from the Manhunt 2? Cash. I've never played 2, so I can't say, but he has a better build, so... Well, 2... I don't know. I feel like he uh, he's, he looks more intelligent, yeah. so I feel like... I was about to say, it's like two different people. Digital Cash was like, he was a killer. Wasn't that what he went to jail for? Was that real, or was that staged? No, he was on death row. Okay. He was supposed to die. Starkweather paid them off to where he wouldn't die. They, he planned on having him killed anyway, but that yeah. didn't work. Nope. I don't recall. Um, didn't it turn out that Starkweather uh, was just um, a pawn and a bigger like shadow government -y thing? And it, that he like wore out his welcome, so they had him kill off in his own, his their his own things. He uh, yeah, because he he broke off from like what he was doing, and then became his own independent thing. Because he was he was just a failed director, and then he turned to snuff, and then I think something happened like his snuff was like worse than other people's, so he got like even got outcasted from them. He's like Serbian film. Yeah. But for real. Yeah, I think like, Still to this day, never watched it. Fuck Serbian film. It was it's just, it's such a fucking, just a waste of fucking art. It's a waste of art. Because, like, it doesn't even, like, even the point of it is just he wanted to prove how bad Serbian censorship was by making the most appalling movie he could. What fucking point did you even make? Like, cool. It's bad. Robert's you happy. Have to fuck a baby. He gets to uh. A child, not baby, whatever. He gets to uh, go to the town and spend all of his money on new clothes. Yes. Oh wait, did I didn't even do what I was supposed to do. No, I got the thing. No, it was telling me to leave. Never mind. Never mind. Ignore me. Never mind. Okay. I do what I was supposed to do. You should get um. Bloodhound gang tattoo. No. Not the the band, but from Hostel. Oh, Hostel. I do want to get the blood down, but I'm also scared because like, it's the off What if it's real? Yeah, the off, the off chance that exists and I have it on me. I just, yeah. And they find out you're fake and they just, well, you're a Hostel now. Yeah, I'm good. That's like equivalent to people fucking top up being affiliated or knowing the cartel and they don't. Like, I'm good. I ain't trying to test fate. Did you, uh, 
watched that one thing where it was talking about the um, that like really famous. I don't remember who is. He's either a famous Mexican um, influencer slash YouTuber guy or a rapper. I can't remember which. I think it's the influencer. Mm-hmm. And he was like dissing the cartel, and then he just went missing. Yep, that is my point. That is something you just don't fuck with. Like they are for real, and they are legit. Yeah. No, the, the cartel is messed up. That one guy who filmed a plane because he's fucking stupid, and he was in the woods and he filmed a plane landing, and everyone was like, "Are you fucking dumb?" And then he disappeared. Because it was the, he was like in the woods, and this plane was just landing in the middle of no, like in just the middle of the woods, and it's like, "Why are you filming that?" And then he disappeared. I uh, I would disappear myself if I did anything like that. Put it on the air. I'm like, hey, you know what? I'm gone. I don't know where I'm going, but I'm it's not here. Yep. Homeschooling my kids. They're never leaving my sight. Even then, I'd feel bad because uh, from stories and stuff, if they can't find you, they're going after your family. That's why I said, yeah, that's why I said my kids be homeschooled and they're never leaving my sight. Because Cartel usually does that. They don't kill you. They'll usually just try to kill your bloodline. Here's seen Sicario, by the way. Mm, I don't know. Maybe. It's a really good movie. Uh, the, the scene that's on like shorts and reels and stuff is the one where he sits down at the at the dinner table with the family and he ends up shooting all of them. It's a, it's a really good movie. That in itself was kind of a major spoiler, but like basically this dude's family gets uh, put into a vat of acid and then he goes and hunts down the from the cartel. And then he, he gets there obviously and he's having dinner and the dude's having dinner with his family. And the, the mom is freaking out. She knows she's fucked because he says he basically says like you killed my fucking family. So that he shoots all he shoots all of them. Then he was gonna leave the dude alive, but he just ends up like pointing a gun at me. He can't not kill him. And shoot right. Him. That's the whole uh, revenge feeds into revenge thing. So yeah, might as well just finish it off. Yeah, it's a really good movie. I like it a lot. That was one thing that shorts and TikToks and all that shit did was I find a lot of good movies just by being like, this seems cool, I'll watch this. I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad you're not stuck with Young Sheldon and Big Bang Theory. Is that all yours? Oh yeah, yours. I, remember, I know Young Still Sheldon. Still to this day. I knew Big Bang Theory, like that was all you ever got. And God forbid if I sit there for like a couple of seconds, it'll be like, oh, he loves it. <laughs> Send it to him. Yeah, I found something good. Like, The Menu and, uh... The one Stephen King book movie. The Tall Grass. That is a good-ass movie, but not the one I was talking about. I fucking love The Tall Grass. I told everybody about that shit. That and Overboard. Remember, everybody... Anytime anybody asks about horror, I'm like, those two watch them. Um... What the fuck's it called? Gerald's Game. Gerald's Game? Yeah. That one's really good, too. Chick fucking D-gloves her hand. They're gross as fuck. I, uh... <laughs> It's hot. I uh, no. <laughs> legit got queasy. That never happens. I uh, was listening to audio esque books and uh, just listened to a Stephen King book. It was uh, The Long Walk. Is it good? Because I can also see that being really boring. It's oh my god. It wrong. Um, so, spoilers for The Long Walk. I don't know when this came out, but so, um, it starts off and you're not you like you're not really knowing what's going on except for a, a, I think it's a hundred kids, a hundred boys get together and they're gonna do a like a marathon. You have to stay above uh I think four miles an hour. Mm. Where you that's the cutoff point is four miles an hour. And they have to walk and they have to walk until uh they're the last ones walking. Uh and if they do that they win. And what they win is, like, whatever the fuck they want. Uh, it's a dystopian world. And this is for this this guy called the General, who's, like, the leader of the, the what is left of the United States. Um, but if you can't walk anymore, uh, you, you die. They shoot you. They shoot you dead. You can't walk off the, the certain walk path. Um... There's no stopping. You get three warnings, uh, and then you're dead. So you just have to walk. You just have to walk. It's in a, and it, oh you're, my God. and you're walking with. A, you can't interrupt other people. Uh, so, like, uh, 
you can't like push someone down. Uh, and it you can join from like thirteen. I think thirteen is the earliest to I think eighteen or something. As a kid. Uh, And then it like starts off in Maine. Obviously, Stephen King. Everything happens in it Maine. Has to happen in Maine. Starts off in Maine, and then I think the longest one they said it was like into another state. So they walk like whole state. I think it was like four or five days was the uh, the total. The like the, till the last guy walked. Could you eat while you were walking? Like I just uh, they something. every day at like nine o'clock they would give you like uh, meat tubes that you could. And you got you got forever water though. You could always just yell out canteen while you're walking. Um, there's uh, those old not old school I guess they're still new school, but those like um, army trucks that have like a hundred different uh, guys can sit on them. You mm -hmm. know what I'm talking about? Uh, will be on, on the sides of you. And they all have guns, and they're all just waiting for. Just they're, they're watching, and they have these things that you have a speedometer type dealy that's all like, "Hey, this is how fast you're going. You better continue walking." Or, and if you fall below that, they'll be like, "All right, warning." And they'll call out your number. Yeah. And uh, it's all voluntary. You don't have to do it, but people will sign up that's because like, you get your wish. Yeah. They, they only take 200 people, and it's a once a year. It's a once a year thing, and they only take 200 people, but only 100 people have to walk. And you have until the last, um... Until, like, the day before, the night before to, to, to drop out, if you're picked. But they don't tell you if you're picked until that day. Mm. It's actually really good. I would say, I don't like really good movie. I kind of hope they make a movie of that, because that sounds sick. I agree. Um... And then it shows, like, some people are, like, becomes friends. Obviously, the main character becomes friends with a couple of people. And then you're, you're kind of rooting. But you can't really root for uh, too many people because only one person can win. Hmm. Do the other ones die, or do they just... Yeah, everyone but one person dies in that. Holy shit. Um, there's one guy who's, uh who's older he's one of the older kids and uh his girlfriend's pregnant and he's doing it so he could take care of the family oh, he's dead yeah but they all get together and agree that part of the the thing that they ask for is to take care of the uh yeah, uh the dude's family or yeah it kind of sucks that uh because I'm assuming they don't fight back or anything. Like it's just like, well, the guy, well, the one dude won. Woo. No, uh, that's the thing is, they no one can stop you, but uh, other than uh, if you get warned the three times and they kill you. Mm -hmm. So it's a dict basically a dictatorship. So you would think you could, you, the, you'd get shot if you step out of line, like curse at the people or talk bad about the dictator. Nope, mm -hmm. that's all completely legal as long as they don't stop and break any of the other smaller rules like pushing people or stepping out of the walkway and stuff like that because hmm. there's one guy who is like protesting the entire time and he gets like absorbed into it and it does the whole he stops and he gets warned that's the other thing you get warned three times but uh, a warning drops every hour that you don't get a warning Is it hour? It's either hour or mile. I can't remember. So you get a lot more than just the three warnings, but you can't get them consecutive. It's consecutively. I mean, there's a book I kind of want to read. I saw on the TikToks called uh, Playground. Have you heard of it? Mm, no, maybe. I don't know. What's the... uh, so this dude makes these kids go through, like, the playground of death, and then he has the parents watch as they do it. And they're all like set up for traps. And apparently, like, there are kids who die, and they die like gruesome kid. Is it a saw? Was, that's what it, was, it kind of sounds like. But I, was like I'd, I'd, I wouldn't mind. Who, who wrote it? I completely forget. I just remember the, the cover is like. It's a, I think it's like a slide, and then it says playground in like gross pink letters across it. Uh, playground. 
on eBay for twenty one thirty five. Uh, for anyone who wants to know, and it is written by. This looks like uh, Aaron Beauregard's. Yeah, Beauregard probably. Isn't it? Remember Bikini Boob Stab or something like that? I forget what I called it. What? I think it was an R. It was an R. L. Stein teen book, so it was above the. Uh, goosebumps. goosebumps, and I think it was also above Fear Street. Um, I don't know if you remember Fear Street. It's no. the same thing. It's R.L. Stein, but it's above Goosebumps. It's more. Oh, that shit I never read. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, the co the cover of the book was a bikini, and it had blood coming from it. It was on a uh, uh on a beach house. Uh. This ain't your kids, R.L. Stein. Yeah, it was on a beach house fence, and it was just sitting there, and I'm like, <gasps> bikini boob stab or something like that, and, you know. And that's uh, what Larry and I called that book from then on. Bikini boob stab. I think I read it in middle school. Was it good? Uh, for an R.L. Stein book, it wasn't bad. Not shit talking R.L. Stein, but. I'm about to say, hey, this one's good. I love uh, my grandpa's a vampire or whatever. The book for, um, oh, I used to remember what this was titled. Uh, I don't remember the TV show. It, it was an island full of like giant monsters and fish people. But in the book, it was just a great white shark. I it was like completely different. Because I watched the episode before I read the book. I used to be a huge nerd, love to read. Same. I haven't read a book in, like, years. Unless you count manga, uh, same. I guess that counts. Sequel the movie? Hey, Sequel the movie. Do you watch some well, that guy was glitching out. Something glitching fierce. Out, you know, that sidewalk was like giving him a time. What would you do if you were walking and that happened to you? Laugh. Am I having a stroke? What's going on? So, are you gonna get me something nice? I smell free food. Ha ha, she's fat. Yeah, and I can't give her shit what is happening. Oh, I don't have fucking uh, to go get job legs. I was gonna say, bud. Just automatically give it to me if it's for a fucking mission. Return to the theater. Godzilla Iron Match movie theater. I love that name so much. Me too. It's so good. Yes. Interior crocodile alligator. I drive a Chevrolet movie theater. Interior crocodile alligator. I drive a Chevrolet movie theater.